Good morning, boys and girls. Today I'm going to continue reading because of when Dixie we left off. If you remember, that Opal was at the party at the picnic at Gloria's house and it was starting to rain. Um, we're on chapter 23. Save the sandwiches, Gloria yelled to me. Save the punch. I got my dog picture, screamed Sweetie Pie. She went running around, tearing them off the trees and the chairs. Don't worry, she kept shouting. I got them. I grabbed the platter of egg salad sandwiches and the preacher grabbed the punch and we ran into the kitchen with them. And when I ran back outside, I saw that Amanda had hold of Miss Franny Block and was helping her into the house. Miss Franny was so teetery in her high heels that the rain would have knocked her right over if Amanda hadn't held on to her. I grabbed Gloria's arm. I'm all right, she said, but she put her hand on my arm and held on to me tight. She looked around the garden before we left. All the crepe paper was melted and the candles were out. And then I saw Otis. He was standing there by his jar of pickles, looking down at his feet. Otis, I hollered at him over the rain. Come on, we're going inside. When we got in the kitchen, Amanda and Miss Franny were laughing and shaking themselves like dogs. What a downpour, said Miss Franny. Wasn't that something? That came right out of nowhere, said the preacher. Woo, said Gloria. Dog, squawked Gertrude. I looked at her. She was sitting on the kitchen table. The thunder was really booming and cracking. Oh no, I said. I looked around the kitchen. Don't worry, said Sweetie Pie. I saved them dog pictures. I got them right here. She waved around her wad of magazine pages. Where's Win Dixie? I shouted. I forgot about him. I was just thinking about the party and I forgot about Win Dixie. I forgot about protecting him from the thunder. Now, Opal said, Preacher, he's probably right out in the yard hiding underneath a chair. Come on, you and I will go look. Hold on, said Gloria. Let me get you a flashlight and some umbrellas. But I didn't want to wait. I went running out into the yard. I looked all under the ch all. I looked under all the chairs and around all the bushes and trees. I called his name real loud. I felt like crying. It was my fault. I was supposed to hold on to him, and I forgot. Opal, I heard the preacher call. I looked up. He was standing on the porch with Gloria, and Dunlap and Stevie Dewberry were standing there too. Your guests are here, said the preacher said. I don't care, I hollered. Come on up here, Gloria said, her voice all hard and serious. She shone her flashlight out at me. I walked up onto the porch and she handed me the flashlight. Tell these boys, hey, she said. Tell them you are glad they came and you will be right back just as soon as you find your dog. Hey, I said, thank you for coming. I just got to find Winn-Dixie and then I'll be right back. Stevie stared at me with his mouth wide open. You want me to help, Dunlap asked. I shook my head. I tried not to cry. Come here, child, Gloria said. She reached for me and pulled me close to her and whispered in my ear. There ain't no way you can hold on to something that wants to go. You understand? You can only love what you got while you got it. She squeezed me hard. Good luck now, she called, as me and the preacher stepped off the porch and out into the rain. Good luck, Miss Franny called from the kitchen. That dog ain't lost, I heard Sweetie Pie holler to somebody inside. That dog's too smart to get lost. I turned around and looked back, and the last thing I saw was the porch light shining on Dunlap Dewberry's bald head. It made me sad, him standing on Gloria's porch, his bald head glowing. Dunlap saw me looking, and he raised up his hand and waved to me. I didn't wave back. Thanks, guys.